Hey guys, welcome to another video where I'm going to be searching the five straps of 100 singles. Hopefully we'll find something good. Uh, luckily for you, I already did all that and I'm going to show you what my results are. Before we get to those results, uh, I do want to talk a little bit about the straps themselves. Uh, it's very easy to go to a bank and order a bunch of singles. Um, I've ordered as many as 3,000 in one sitting. The problem comes when after you've gone through them, what do you do with them? I promise you that if you take 3,000 singles back to the bank that you just ordered them from, they're not going to be too happy with you. So you have to use some ingenious methods. The bank that I use is a fairly popular bank, and there's a lot of branches in town. Um, I work two counties away from where I live, so I also have the ability to travel through many counties. And I've got 10 to 12 different branches from that one particular bank that I can go through. So when it comes to me returning the bills that I've already sorted, I make sure to only give a hundred or two to each individual branch. That way, one, I'm not burying them with all the money I just ordered, and two, I'm not researching bills that I have already searched. I'm making sure my bills are well distributed. Um, with that, let's get these uh, duds out of the way and let's see what I found. It's fairly thin picking in this one. Um, couple star notes as you can see here uh, 2013 star note not in the greatest of shape I'll check it for its rarity I think there was one other star note in there yeah also a 2013 you know well handled we'll make sure it's not a, a low number star note and uh, put that one away I did find a couple trinaries here's one from 2006 showing all ones sevens and nines uh, pulled out a trinary from 2013. This one is fours, zeros, and sevens uh, from Minneapolis. The I is uh, Minneapolis. Uh, Minneapolis doesn't print a whole lot of bills, so it's always neat finding one uh, with an I or even a J. You don't see H, I, and J too often. G is close to where I live. That would be Chicago. I see a lot of bills from Chicago. Um, this one also a trinary, twos, sixes, and eights. This one's in really good shape. Really crisp paper, no real bed creases, nothing like that. Speaking of rough shape, this was one of the oldest bills I found in this pull. I found two of these. These are both from 1995. Uh, 1995K, which is Dallas. And I believe this was a 1995 as well. D from Cleveland, Ohio. I did manage to find one of the quads in this batch, 5555. Five, five, five. You can see the four fives back to back there. Rough shape bill, 2006. Um, one of the things I want to point out about, about the dates is that your average $1 bill only stays in circulation for about six or seven months before it becomes rendered useless and, and too worn. That's why they print so many bills to begin with, because a lot of them are shredded within the first six, seven months. I mean, the, the single is the most used bill in our currency. That's why uh, you tend to find some older ones, and I tend to hold on to some of the older ones because, like I said, their lifespan is only six or seven months. The most interesting bill that I came across in this set was uh, this one here. It's a 2013 uh, G-Note from Chicago. And you'll see by the serial number, it's an alternator. Uh, 1815. 1916. Uh, every other number in this bill is a 1. I don't find very many of these at all, so I made sure to pull this one especially because it's nice and crisp. So that's what I found from this batch of 500. Uh, now let me show you some of the stuff from my other collection. I don't do a whole lot in foreign currency, but I couldn't pass this up. What I've got here is a $1 note from the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. $1 banknote. Real deal. $1. And of course, in Zimbabwe, they've got the 1, the 5, the 10, and the 20. Um, they've even got a $100 bill from Zimbabwe. The thing is, is that Zimbabwe was run by a dictator who started robbing the country blind. So, by him robbing the country... Uh, inflation set in and $100 was no longer enough. So they started printing bigger denominations like 500 or a thousand. I mean, we've got thousand dollar bills, or at least we had thousand dollar bills in our country. 
1969, they started pulling the thousand and the five thousand dollar, or the five hundred, one thousand, five thousand, and ten thousand dollar bills out of our circulation. But in Zimbabwe, they then had to go to a twenty thousand, which didn't cut it, so they did fifty, and then five hundred thousand. And then, of course, they get to the $1 million Zimbabwe note. You can tell by the condition on this note, it's not in the greatest of shape, which means it's circulated. They spent these. It's written on right here. You can see the serial numbers. It's got the security uh, devices set in there. But once again, even at a million, that didn't cut it. They had to print larger denominations, like 50 million or even 100 million. If that doesn't cut it, let's try 200 million. Or maybe a billion. Yes, that is a $1 billion bill. Real currency. When that didn't do it, they bumped it to 5 billion, a billion with a B, 10 billion. I mean, these are re you know, real notes. I mean, you can see on the back, these are front and back, reserve bank, and uh, there's the 10 billion, the 20 billion, and the $50 billion bill. Um, just to try to get an idea of how big 50 billion is, $50 billion would be a million dollars a day every day for approximately, what was it, 100 years that I figure? And that would only get you to 37 billion, I believe, if I calculated that right. So $50 billion is a million dollars a day for roughly 100 years. That's how much that would be. But even this wasn't enough, and they kept printing larger notes, and they did not stop until the famous... 100 trillion dollar bill that's a one with 14 zeros if i remember right three six nine twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen zeros uh that's their real currency <laughs> that's the front that's the back and of course as much as this bill may appear to be worth um their currency continues to crash when I got this bill, it was worth about 40 bucks, which means the entire stack of all of the other bills I showed had a rough value of about 40 cents. Uh, I think this bill, as far as cashing it out, is probably now worth closer to the 40 cents, but that doesn't change the fact that it is one of the few bills of this large of a denomination to ever be printed. Um, I don't care how much I had paid for it. I'm, I didn't get this one as an investment. I got this because it was just a neat bill to see. It's not very often you can walk around with a hundred trillion dollars in your pocket. A hundred trillion dollars of real money. <laughs> all right, guys, that's what, that's all I've got for you this week. Um, stay tuned for some more videos and I uh, hope you enjoy. Thanks. Bye.